Hey guys, welcome! This is my long-term review of SSG10A1 from Norwich, so check it! First of all, how does it feel in the hand? Nothing rattles, nothing wobbles, it feels solid and rigid. In this term, it feels really good. The surface of the stock is kind of rubberized, so it provides good grip. So, good airsoft stock with good feeling, it definitely does not feel like some thin plastic wrap, but it doesn't feel like top-notch premium stock either. For the money, it feels okay. Your outer barrel is made from some aluminum alloy, so it doesn't provide that real steel feel, but it feels okay. What is really important that there are no sharp edges or something uh, dangerous what can hurt you on SSG-10. So that's really important and that's cool. So generally, I must say I like how SSG-10 feels in the hand. How does it look? Look at it. It is straightforward, simplistic, functional design. Yes, you have there some twist on the outer barrel, some tactical trigger, but otherwise it is pretty simple, basic, straightforward, functional design. It doesn't interest me much, but I don't have anything against it, neither. So, again, okay. Now the function of SSG-10. You load it, you charge it, you push your safety to the fire position, and then you shoot it. Air seal. Perfect. Even after 400 shots, still perfect air seal. You pull your trigger and it shoots. In 400 shots, I have never had any malfunction. You just uh, load it, charge it, pull your trigger, and it works. So I really like it. Never forget to clean your inner barrel. When you will start to have problems with accuracy or grouping, you need to clean your inner barrel in proper way. You can check it also at Norwich Academy how to do that. Accuracy. Accuracy was big question mark for myself. Briefly, I must say, I was really surprised out of the box it provided accuracy worthy of any airsoft game. So accuracy wise, out of box it performs really nice, in my opinion, like yes, you can find better airsoft sniper rifles out of box, but they are more pricey, at least like 100 euro more or 200 euro more or more and more, but for 300 euros as was this SSG-10, it performs out of box really nice. I was really interested in accuracy of SSG-10 out of box, so I made this video. You can find it somewhere here or here or here or there. Definitely the link will be in description, so you can check it. It's really detailed video of accuracy of SSG-10 out of box, so you can check it. I bought this SSG-10 as 2.8 agile version, but I clocked uh, something around 3.305 or 3.1 joule with 0.46 gram BBs. With this out-of-box performance, you can reach 80 meters easily and repeatedly, and I, I will say it's effective on this range. I also hit the target at 90 meters. I would say it was not effective. It was three or four shots from 30, Yes, you can hit 90 meters with it out of box, but the probability is low. But you can hit torso sized target at uh, 80 meters repeatedly, and I would say kind of easily. So I think this is pretty, pretty good out of box sniper. For this price, out of box the performance is really well, and there is not much things left to tune. I'm just considering the TDC modification, and that's all. Also, the mast is the optics. I've got here right now optics with 3.5 to 10 of magnification uh, with 50 millimeter lens in the front. It is okay scope, but I think it's overkill for airsoft. So LPVO for this rifle is for airsoft, in my opinion, more than enough. Operation of SSG-10. Let's start with the basics. SSG-10 stock magazine is transparent, so very well. Mag insertion to the gun. The mag fits the port pretty well, uh, but you must be careful and you must press your mag well inside. It's done when you hear click of this button. Press the magazine hard, 
Now it clicked, then it will not fall out, then it will load the BBs correctly and then SG10 will work properly. Okay, next of all, the pull of the charging handle. So I found out that I was pulling the charging handle in not correct way, but I found out uh, at Novich Academy the correct way, so we just grab the full charging handle and you are also using your thumb and you grab it completely and you are trying to pull it in most straight way as possible. Then the charging will be smooth and your SSG10 will last. When you charge the gun, then you can push your safety to the front to the fire position. So safety operates in a very simple way from safe position to the fire position. And now you can fire. Trigger is very simple and it's smooth and it's easy and it's light. I like it. Trigger works really easy. When you charge the handle, uh, it's just locked. You are already on the wall and when you pull it, it just release. So very simple easy trigger i can show it to you so check it very very simple straightforward like i'm just pulling and it goes no finicky so you just pull and in one moment it just lets go i like it so once again i will show it to you like this and also we will check the air seal very simple i'm just pulling and it just let go yeah air seal is good even after 400 shots so it was one cycle now our magazine is empty so i want to release my magazine there is this mag release button so i press it the mag is spring loaded there and what is really nice uh, are these cutouts so you can remove your magazine so there is complete cycle mag insertion okay pulling the charging handle okay operation of safety easy trigger simple easy light and also mag removal is easy i have here also this magazine from saima this magazine looks very very similar to the stock magazine but it doesn't fit naturally it looks like it can go there but i i'm sure it will need some dremeling and then i can push it there if i would force it uh, i'm not sure i would remove it so i need to send it down probably somewhere and then i'm sure it will work Hop up. So there is this lever and also the scale. So the lever when moved clicks. I like that. And I also like the scale. So you can note uh, the setting of your hop up for various BB weights. But during some gameplays and using of SSG10, I found out that you can accidentally interfere with your hop up setting lever because you are running, you are moving over place and you just interfere uh, with your lever and now your hop up is not set. And also it's easy when you are taking aim, you just move it accidentally. So this can happen many times. You need to be careful about it. What I also don't like about the hop up that if you are setting hop up for 0.46 gram BBs, it's okay. Then you need uh, more range. Uh, you add one click and then you are over hopping much. So you are coming back and you have not enough. So there is feeling like there should be some step in between. For this, there is solution like TDC. So I'm really considering upgrading my SSG10 with some TDC modification. But otherwise, Hobab works fine. It can hop 0.46 gram BBs easily. Now let's speak about some features. So in the front, we've got here cap. Uh, this can be removed and changed for the cap with the thread for a silencer. In the front we've got here mounting point for bipod. Then we've got here Picatinny rail for mounting of your optics. As you can see I have mounted some optics which I have. Uh, from other features I would say about this mounting point. From this point to this point you can mount the strap. I guess there is this uh, buttstock which is made from some hard rubber but it doesn't slide on your shoulders. Ergonomy of this rifle. As said before, when speaking about design, it is very simple design. Also the ergonomy is really simple. So, so you've got here this grip and it plays your uh, finger directly on the trigger. The stock is of some good general length. It fits my hand kind of okay. Hand guard in the front, it's kind of long. So we can find your position very, very easily. So generally the ergonomy of this rifle is kind of okay. Also, I must say that 
this SSG10 is really lightweight. You will be really moving around the field easily. You will not get tired very soon and you can also operate with your rifle in the upward position easily because it's light. And it's really cool feature of this gun that it's light and I really like that because it improves your maneuverability. You can move around the field easily, you will not get tired so soon and you can hold it upwards uh, for a longer time. So that's really really cool and, and it is really really important. I really like it. So the low weight of SSG-10 is really positive thing. Next important thing is that when something will happen with your SSG-10 you can use big novice stock of spare parts for it or it can be covered by warranty. So that is really cool and I really like Norwich for this. Generally I must say that I really like SSG-10 I thought that I will keep it for some time and then I will sell it but finally there is some bond and I will not let it go. Only thing which is in my consideration is the TDC modification for the hobab but otherwise I would keep it as it is. Yes, you can find better airsoft sniper rifles out of box but I am sure they will be more pricey at least 100 euro or 200 euro or 300 euros more and for 300 euros you will not find better airsoft sniper rifle out of box. When I mean out of box I don't mean like you will buy some cheap sniper rifle and upgrade everything. I'm considering only out of box uh, airsoft snipers which you will buy and they are already working fine. And I think that SSG-10 is this case. For 300 euros out of box it works pretty pretty good. I really like SSG-10 because in my opinion it provides very good value so very good accuracy and performance for good money and I like that. You guys, thank you for watching and see you next time. If you like this kind of content, please consider to like this video or subscribe to my channel.